Happy May the 4th, everyone. Today, the church doesn't celebrate a feast of any particular saint, but our pop culture is celebrating Star Wars Day. Why? Because May the 4th be with you. Now, I know not everybody keeps a lightsaber in their car or other Star Wars um, propaganda or toys or props with them, but uh, I really like this one. I do keep it in my, uh, in my car. A couple of years ago, I wrote an article for the Herald about how being a priest is like being a Jedi Knight. And I was thinking about how this coronavirus is calls to mind this day that uh, pop culture is celebrating. Uh, for those who haven't seen Star Wars, maybe you should see it, but uh, there's a concept in Star Wars called the Force. It's the mysterious energy that emanates from all human life. And people who are sensitive to the Force can do special things, like levitate things, use Jedi mind tricks, but it's an unknown force. And those who don't believe in it, who don't see it, they don't get it. They don't understand what's going on with the force. What's interesting, my friends, is we are in these times now where there is this mysterious life force that has changed our whole life. And that mysterious life force is called the coronavirus. It has shut down our lives. It's shut down our ability to pray together, to go out in public, to hang out with our family and friends. That unknown thing has changed so much of our current situation. But there's another unknown force that's even stronger and more powerful than COVID-19. And that's the love of our God. The love of our God that is with us, that reminds us that no matter what happens, no matter where we go, no matter what transpires in our lives, the love of God will conquer all of that. So as we celebrate Star Wars Day today, and may the fourth be with you, we are also reminded that the peace of the Lord Jesus is with you. We're looking forward to the day when we can turn to our lives as normal when we can pray together in our beautiful churches and spaces without any kind of limitations on what we're able to do, but a limitation that is not being capped right now is the love of the Lord, is the Holy Spirit burning in our hearts, helping us to grow as his sons and daughters. So my friends, during this difficult time when this unknown force is keeping us from living our lives, we keep our eyes on the unseen force that helps us love. As St. Peter says, even though we can't see him, we love him. And even though we don't see him right now, we believe in him. Our belief is in the love of the Lord that's going to conquer all things, that's going to help all things, that's going to give us the strength that we need to get through this. May the Lord's love be with you. May he give you the courage and strength that you need to faithfully follow him.